Ina chakula, ina chakula, ina chakula, ina chakula, chakula karoze tu nyumba ya mwana. Ina chakula, ina chakula, ina chakula, ina chakula, chakula karoze tu nyumba ya mwana. Ina chakula. Baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu Mwana awe nanyi Ndugu zangu wapendwa katika Kristo karibuni katika ibada hii ya misa ambapo tumefika hapa ili tuweze kumshukuru Mungu kwa wema wake kwa huruma yake na kwa hekima aliyotupa sisi wanadamu ili tuweze kuishi katika huduma hiyo aliyotuachia Kristu mwenyewe aliwaachia wafuasi wake majukumu na sisi tunajaribu kufanya alivyo tuamuru kwa hiyo tunapokusanyika hapa kwa ajili ya hawa ndugu zetu baba benedict Manuel na Basil ambao tunakumbuka ya kwamba nadhiri zetu ni kumbukumbu zinazo tukumbusha ya kwamba sisi ni watawa na utawa huo ni safari ambayo Kristu mwenyewe ametualika ili tuweze kuwahudumia watu katika utawa huu ndani ya sala na kazi kama wana Benediktini kwa hiyo tunapomshukuru Mungu pia tunakumbuka ya kwamba sisi tukiwa wasafiri mara nyingi tunajisahau kwa njia moja au nyingine. Nyakati ambazo tumejisahau katika huduma hiyo na katika imani yetu tukumbuke tujute tupate kujiweka tayari kuadhimisha mafumbo haya matakatifu.
Tizo isi tawe katika watu mishi wako hawa kwa nguvu kubwa. Ili wafuate nyayo za mwanao kwa karibu zaidi. Uwajalie wafuate daima ukamilifu wa kinjili. Na hivyo waongeze utakatifu wa kanisa. Na kuimarisha nguvu yake ya kitume. Wanjia ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from your land, your relatives, 
and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the families of the earth will find blessing in you. Abraham went as the Lord directed him, and Lord went with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. The word of the Lord.
masomo la toka kwa barua ya Paulo kwa Filipi lakini hayo yote ambayo ningeweza kuyafikiria kuwa ni faida nimeyaona kuwa ni hasara kwa ajili ya Kristo Naam wala si hayo tu ila naona kila kitu kuwa ni hasara tupu kwa ajili ya jambo bora zaidi yani kumjua Kristo Yesu Bwana wangu Kwa ajili yake nimekubali kutupilia mbali kila kitu nimeyaona hayo yote kuwa nitakataka ili nimpate Kristo na kuunganishwa naye kabisa Mimi sitaki tena uadilifu unaotokana na kuitii sheria Sasa ni nao ule uadilifu unaopatikana katika kumwamini Kristo uadilifu utokao kwa Mungu na ambao unategemea imani Ninachotaka tu ni kumjua Kristo na kuiona nguvu ya ufufuo wake kushiriki mateso yake na kufanana naye katika kifo chake nikitumaini kwamba nami pia nitafufuliwa kutoka wafu Sijidai kwamba nimekwisha faulu au nimekwisha kuwa mkamilifu. Naendelea kujitahidi kupata lile tuzo ambalo kwalo Kristu amekwisha nipata mimi. Kwa kweli ndugu zangu sidhani kuwa nimekwisha pata tuzo hilo. Lakini jambo moja nafanya na yasahau yale yaliyopita na kufanya bidii kuyazingatia yale yaliyo mbele basi nimo mbioni kuelekea lengo langu ili nipate lile tuzo ambalo ni mwito wa Mungu kwa maisha ya juu kwa njia ya Kristu Yesu neno la Mungu. Simame kwa shangilio. kunichagua mimi mimi niliwachagueni na kuwatuma muende mkazae matunda matunda ya dumuyo naye baba apate kuwapeni chochote mnachomuomba kwa jina langu Amen. Yeah. 
wakati kanji takatifu ulifiande kwa na mtakatifu madhayo utukufu kwa Yesu alipovika pande za Kaisalea Filipo aliwauliza wanafunzi wake watu wasema mwana wa mtu kuwa ni nani wakamjipu wengine wanasema kuwa ni wane mpatisanji wengine Elia wengine Eremaya au mmoja wapo wa manambi Yesu akawauliza na nyinyi je mnasema mimi ni nani Simoni Petro akanjipu wewe ndiwe Kristu mwana wa Mungu aliye hai Ni ya Bwana kipindi hiki kinachofuata tunataka kutambulisha the candidates wenye wanye wamefanya tumejumuika hapa kusherekea tunataka kusikia kama wanaitikia wito na ni vyema wanapoitwa tusikize waitikie wito kwanza ndipo za tushangilie kuna wenzetu wanapenda wakisikia jina tayari tunashangilia. Unashangilia nini? Tunataka kushangilia kwa kuitikia wito. Samahani sasa. Tusubiri aitwe akiitika basi. Asipoitika hatutashangilia. Eh? Tumeelewana? We want to introduce the candidates. Karibu. the candidate for solemn vows brother basil eric menya osb makofi kwake tafadhali Brother Basil Eric Menya Barasa OSB he comes from the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma St Rose of Lima Amkura Parish He is the son of William Barasa Kirabu na Mama Francisca Achieng He comes from a family of 11 siblings four boys and seven girls one boy is deceased we pray for his soul to rest in peace brother basil is the third born and he joined the monastery in the year 2015 and he took his first monastic vows in the year 2018 and today he is making his solemn vows makofi kwake please confirm your presence father benedict mohavali order of saint benedict Perfect. reverend father benedict mohavali benedict osb he comes from the catholic diocese of kakamega holy cross parish muranda but originally from St Joseph Shibuye parish he is the son of Andrew Amsala 
and Mama Leonida Ngaira, they are resting in peace. We pray for their souls. He comes from a family of 10 siblings, five boys, and five girls. Reverend Father Benedict, OSB, is the sixth born. He joined the monastery in the year 1996. He took his first monastic vows in the year 1998, 25 years ago. He made his solemn vows on 11th July 2003, diaconate ordination on 13th July 2003, and priestly ordination on 17th January 2004. And today, we are celebrating the silver jubilee of monastic vows that he took on the 7th February 20, in the year 1998, 25 years ago. Father Emmanuel Omamo, Order of St. Benedict. Reverend Father Emmanuel Delphine Omamo OSB comes from the Archdiocese of Kisumu, the Holy Trinity Rangala Parish. He is the son of Vitalis Olo and Mama Cypros Olo. He comes from a family of 13 siblings, seven boys, and six girls. Six are deceased, and we pray for their souls to rest in peace. Reverend Father Emmanuel OSB is the fourth born. He joined the monastery in the year 1996. He took his first monastic vows in the year 1998, 25 years ago. Solemn vows on 11th July, 2003. He received his diaconate ordination on 18th October 2019 and priesthood ordination on 20th February the year 2021. And today we are celebrating the silver jubilee of his monastic vows. Makofi Kwake. So with that, we have done with the introduction to the candidates, Natumeskia Wito Wao. Basi misa inaendelea, kependa kumualika baba abate, kwa ajili ya homilia. You're most welcome. Zangu wapendwa katika Kristo tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good and all the time even when it is cold God is good, right? Yeah. Today we have come here for one reason, to thank God. Kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wito wetu. Na hizo shukrani ni nyingi mno wakati mwingine tunazisahau. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu ya hawa ndugu zetu, Brother Benedict, Brother Emmanuel and Brother Basil. The two who are celebrating their silver jubilee are grateful to God. We are here in that gratitude. To God. The one we are here to thank God for him for accepting the call of God to his monastic vows. The two are beginning their journey to the 50 years. Wanaanza safari yao ya msini. Leo. Uyo mmoja anaanza safari yake ya 25. Sijui atafika lini. 
lakini basi tu tunamuombea akifika ni sawa asipofika pia tunashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo shukrani hizo kwa Mungu za dhati katika mioyo yetu ndani ya hizo shukrani kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanafanyika katika safari yetu ya utawa unaposafiri mara nyingi safari hiyo aiwi kwamba imenyoka moja kwa moja au inakuwa straight lazima aiwe na miandas fulani michepuko kadhaa unapotembea na ndio nafikiri hao wamepitia haya yote hata huyo anayeanza miaka yake 25 Nakumbuka tukiwa na novisi Brother Benedict acted one time as our novice master He took us somewhere then after some days he stopped being a novice master And uh, when we went for the novitiate courses those who know they know At one time I was the senior of the month. No, we have seniors of the month. We have rotational seniority. And my colleagues who are here, some of them are here. They pushed me and told me that I should go for that meeting of the novice masters and mistresses. And I went. I sat behind and I took their tea. Those who know they know. <laughs> and when I came back here, when we came back that same evening, it was a hot evening for me because I don't know who told our novice master that I acted as a novice master when I was a novice. It was not a very easy day but I survived. So in this life as we journey together There are things that happen in our life strange things good things funny things interesting parts of our life until we reach where we reach we say thanks to God and ask for his mercy because it is through his mercy that we are able to walk together into this life This life some many people don't understand when we invited people I am sure there are people who are asking whether for the manual has already finished 25 years of priesthood in 2 years Amesha maliza 25 ndani ya miaka miwili Benedict amemaliza 25 ndani ya miaka 18 Amerukisha wanashangaa what happened Some of them who had ordained before him were wondering how comes that you are celebrating 25 years and we were ordained before you But in the invitation it is written there very clear of monastic vows you know there are people who read what they want to see So as we celebrate this life there are misconceptions that come with it misunderstandings that come with it and we live within those misconceptions and ask God to give us the wisdom and the strength to stand firm that we may not be able to deviate from what we vowed the readings of today the first reading is talking about Abraham's journey with his son it's a journey of trust trusting in god trusting in god's providence trusting in god's guidance kumwamini mungu ndiye anayetuongoza ndiye anayetuelekeza katika maisha yetu anayelekeza miguu yetu tunaposafiri tunapotembea katika njia ya imani kuelekea kwake ndiye kiongozi wetu mkuu 
ambaye anatuamsha tunapoteleza anatuonea huruma na tunatembea katika safari hiyo hata wakati mwingine tunapoyumba Mungu yu pamoja nasi na anatuelekeza jinsi atakavyo yeye sio jinsi tutakavyo sisi sio kwa nguvu yao ndio wamepata kufika hapo bali kwa neema za Mungu ambaye ndiye anatuonyesha yale ambayo tunapaswa kuyafanya Mtu anapofanya nadhiri nyie wengi labda mmefika hapa na kusikiliza na mtasikiliza yale ambayo watasema hapa wale watatu wote kwamba they confirm that God has called them into this life and that they may walk in the light of Jesus Christ in the order of St Benedict in this abbey to work to pray and to work and to live together as a community it's not an easy task to live in the community being people from different cultural backgrounds sometimes it is interesting to see them living together in one community we may live in a group as we live but what are our destinations what is my destination and what is your destination we may live here together but we are taking quite different directions of life but living we can live together so the question is which direction am i taking as a religious man in this community that we vow to live in community it's not an easy task but jesus christ reminds us that he lived with the 12 apostles despite their differences the disparities of their thoughts and conceptions of life if you look at the 12 apostles you will find out that it is not easy to live together because each of them had their own conceptions they had their own understanding of who jesus is for them when he called them they had their own expectations each person has their own expectations when they are called into a certain kind of life we have expectations what are my expectations if you ask them maybe they will answer you when they came here what were their expectations and until now how much of those expectations have they received what is motivating me to stay in this life what is captivating me to be a monk in this community why am i here what is keeping me inside here that is not outside there ni nini ambacho kinaniweka huko ndani ambacho hakipo huko nje kumwamini mungu trust as you walk every step you make let god be the one who lifts your foot as you walk the moment you forget the presence of god as you walk that is the moment you sleep and slide you can either fall or stumble none of us is perfect in any way we have heard in the gospel this morning the question of jesus to his disciples many of us here ukiulizwa swali kumhusu mtu ni rahisi sana kusema sio ni rahisi sana kusema watu husema basil ni nani it is very easy to say who oh, you hear so many things his behavior what kind of person he is it is very easy to say do you know benedict yes i know him 
What do people say about it? Then you, you say very many things, both real and imaginary things that we normally say and we hear what people say about others. It is very easy. Who is Emmanuel? Who do people say is? Iraisi sana. Kujibu swali hilo. Lakini Yesu Kristu alitaka kusikia. Wakasema mwingine wanasema ni Yohane Mbatizaji, mwingine Yeremia, mwingine one of the prophets. Very easy. They were answering spontaneously without thinking. But now, when Jesus turned to them, aliwageukia. Na nyie mnasema mimi ni nani? Nyie. Mnasema mimi ni nani? Alafu naanza kufikiria. You start thinking it can take days, years to think what exactly you think about a certain person. If that person faces you and asks, who do you say that I am to you? That's when people start lying to, to their friends. How good they are, but behind there, what they hear and confirm are quite different things. Nipo Christu aliwashika wanafunzi wake akawauliza. Watu wanasema huko nje mimi ni nani? Na nyie mnasema mimi ni nani? Tusiwe watu wa kujibu jibu haraka haraka kuhusu mambo fulani ambaya hatuhusu. As they say that you learn to mind your own business. So as we pray for our brothers, let us ask God to journey with them. We pray for them. Many a times, it is very easy to say. Ukitaka kuachana na mtu haraka, unamwambia tutakuombea. Ndio. We shall pray for you. Tukubali ya Aisha. I will pray for you. Ili tuachane, sio? So kwa hiyo, how often do we pray for each other? How often do you say a word to people, to God, for a particular person who has asked you to pray for them? So as we storm the heavens this morning, even if you will not pray again until you meet and tell him that we pray for you, just try today to mention a word to this young man that God may journey with them. These men have served this community in various capacities. For all those years they have been serving in this community. And they have served in our different houses in their different capacities. Now they thank God and confirm that service that they are going to continue to serve God in whichever capacity that he has granted to them. God commissions us and he has entrusted to us certain duties and responsibilities. When Jesus went to heaven, to heaven, he promised his disciples that he will be with them all the time. And in actual sense, he is. And therefore, we ought to wake up and trust in that presence of Jesus Christ as we serve him in this community, in this abbey, and in the congregation at large. Being missionaries, being monks at the same time, is not an easy task. To mix the two, as they say, inside you are a monk, outside you are an apostle. The apostolic works we do 
And when you come back inside the community to thank God for the opportunity he has given you to serve, that is an important factor of our life. Jesus moved with his disciples with all patience. We all move together in our community with all the patience that is required in us. With all our imperfections, yale mapungufu yetu yote, tunayaweka mikononi mwa Mungu na tunasema asante na endelee kutuongoza katika maisha yetu. Ndani ya maombezi ya mtakatifu Benedicto ambaye ndiye baba yetu mkuu na ndiye ambaye ametupa yale ambayo tunapaswa kuyafuata katika maisha yetu katika kanuni yake ametuambia mambo mengi ya kifamilia how to live as a community how to live as a family kama familia moja ndani ya familia yenyewe ambao ni wanafamilia mnajua ya kwamba unapozaliwa watoto sio wote wana tabia moja ikiwa wote wana tabia moja basi maisha hayaendi vizuri katika familia hii kuna wale ambao wapo tu kuna wale wako very active kuna wale wakorovi kuna wale wasumbufu kuna wale wanafanya kazi kwa bidii na wote ni watoto wa nyumba moja ndio maana ya familia that we cannot all be the same we can't be equal in capacities we are given differently we are given differently and therefore those differences diversities that we have together we bring and use them for the purposes of service to god in his people and most especially in the community tunapohudumu tujue ya kwamba kristo yu pamoja nasi kila wakati watu husema wewe ni nani swali ambalo labda sisi tunapaswa kujiuliza watu husema mimi ni nani tunapoishi maisha haya na kuwa kidogo wakati mwingine kuna changamoto hapa na pale hawa wanatuona tuko na afya nzuri tunaona vile mmengara wanafikiri umengara tu hivyo kila wakati kuna wakati wa kulia kuna wakati wa kucheka kuna wakati wa kulalamika na hiyo ndiyo hali ya maisha yetu ya kila siku kuna spiritual director wetu mmoja alituambia maisha ya utawa ni kama soko uwezi kukosa mtu hata ukienda saa nane ya usiku utapata mtu sokoni hivyo wewe kukosa mtu kwa soko wale wanaoenda sokoni of course saa nane ya usiku mmelala amuuzi vitu so kwa hiyo maisha yetu lazima kuwe na mtu pale wa kuwaombea wengine na ndio hali yetu tumuombe Mwenyezi Mungu atupe neema zake kwa maombezi ya mtakatifu benedicto neema na huruma zake zitembee pamoja nanyi mnapoanza maisha yenu upya mnapoanza 25 wengine wanaanza 50 when you reach 50 tukupatie mkwaju hapa hmm. alafu unaangalia nyuma yako naona unapotembea kuna wale wadogo wanajaribu kutembea unavyotembea alafu wanabaki hivyo je safari iliyobaki tutatembea vipi wewe unayeanza nadhiri zako za daima tunakuombea kila laheri Mwenyezi Mungu akuongoze atembee pamoja nawe katika maisha yako ya utawa anyie wawili Benedict na Emmanuel Mwenyezi Mungu aongoze katika huduma mnayoifanya mahali popote ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu amewajalia katika huduma hiyo na sisi tulio hapa 
ambao ni mashahidi narudia tuwaombe pray for them pray for us that we may be good servants to you people mtuombe ili tuweze kufanya huduma hiyo kwa uadilifu na kwa uaminifu ndani ya kufanya huduma hiyo kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanafanyika na hayo mambo yote tuyaweke mikononi mwa Mungu ili apate kuwasimamisha imara wanapoendelea kufanya huduma hiyo wasikate tamaa mara nyingine unaweza kata tamaa you go back a bit that is the time to retreat and find out where is the problem because when you see a challenge ahead of you you cannot just move you have to find out what's up with that challenge what is it that is making me not move what is it that is making me either move in a wrong direction or move slowly some moments to go back and retreat and find out exactly what god has for us that in all things god may be glorified kwa muda wa dakika moja tukae kimya tuweze kutafakari kwa hiyo humilia ambayo tumepata take a moment of meditation on what we have received in the homily <coughs> Tumsif Yesu Kristo So what follows we enter into the right of solemn profession I would like to invite the candidate brother Basil na sala kwanza alafu wimbo wa roho mtakatifu Dear brother Basil you are now going to take your solemn vows From now on you will forever belong to our monastic community You have carefully reflected upon this step 
which you are to take. Together with you, we understand your decision as an answer to God's calling. He is the one who through his spirit leads us in different ways to our common goal in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. I then ask you to prostrate yourself while the whole community together with you calls upon the Holy Spirit. To join. Nasisi wote, naomba tupige magoti kwa ya mtuongoze kwa wimbo wa roho mtakati.
dear brother Basri, as you have come before the community and this assembly to declare your intention of living with us as a member of this community, I now ask you to declare your intention. Are you resolved to seek God in all things? Yes, I am. Are you resolved to dedicate your whole life to the service of God and of His church? Yes, I am. Are you resolved to lead a life according to the rule of our Father Benedict under the guidance of the gospel? Yes, I am. Are you ready to say and reserved yes to the Benedictine community of the Prince of Peace, Abbey Tigoni, and to work with it at the service of the church wherever and whenever you are needed? Yes, I am. Proceed then in your vocation, and may the God of hope fill you with faith and joy that you may be rich in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And you, my brothers of our community here, and you all who are present here today, I take you as witnesses. May our prayers always accompany him in his journey. Dear beloved brothers and sisters, let us now pray to God, the Almighty Father, through his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, that by the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, he will pour out the Holy Spirit of his love on this servant of his, who he has chosen as consecrated to his service. the saints as we sing the litany of the saints. Takantin fu mama wa mungu Takantin fu mika eli Takantin fu imanueli Takati fu Gabrieli, Wa 
Antakantifu Malaika wa Mungu. Antakantifu Mababu wa Kale. Wanta kantifu manabi Mta kantifu yoane mbati zanji Mta kantifu yosemfu Wanta katifu penso na paulo Mta katifu filimpo Mta katifu andrea Mta kantifu tomanso Utu ofe Mta kantifu yoane mwinjilinsti Utu ofe Mta kantifu Maria Magdalena Mta kantifu Stefano Utu ofe Mta kantifu Inyansi wa Antonka Utu ofe Mta kantifu Inyansi wa Loyola Mta kantifu Laurenti Utu ofe Mta kantifu Tomanso wa Anquino Utu ofe Mta kantifu Bonaventa Mta kantifu Andriano Utu ofe Mta kantifu Yustino Utu ofe Mta kantifu Anselmo Mta kantifu Cipriano Utu ofe Mta kantifu Bonifansi Utu ofe Mta kantifu Poligampo Wata katifu papenchwa na pelinsta Mtu ofe Wata katifu liyo na grigori Mtu ofe Mta katifu anyensi Mta kantifu Agustino Utu ofe Mta kantifu Antainansi Utu ofe Mta kantifu Leoba Utu ofe 
the prayer of your church. Look with favor on this your servant whom you have called with your love. See him on the way of eternal salvation. May he seek only what is pleasing to you and fulfill it with watchful care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Naomba sisi wote tusimame. <coughs> Naomba tuketi. OSB from Amkura Parish in the Diocese of Bungoma vow before God and his saints for my entire life stability fidelity to monastic life and obedience according to the rule of our Holy Father Benedict and the constitutions of the Congregation of Sanctotilian 
in the Abbey of Prince of Peace at Tigoni. I have written this document with my own hand, and by this act I certify my vow before Abbot John Baptist Oese in my OSB. And the monks of the Abbey of Prince of Peace at Tigoni. On this day of our Lord, 8th July 2023, Brother Basil OSB. Anaelekea kwa nsari ili nadhiri zake zisiwe muhuri wa shirika na kutia sahihi ni mwenyewe na baba abate. Makofi kwake Shangwe na nderemo Wale ambao wana sherekea miaka 25 they are just renewing their vows In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. 25 years ago, I took the vow of monastic religious life in the presence of the community of Prince of Peace Benedictine Monastery at Tikoni. In gratitude to God, Right Reverend Abbot John Baptist, Prior, the sub prior, my confreres and family of the monastic community of Tikoni, members of my family and all friends gathered here, I confirm and renew these solemn vows today, 8th July 2023, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Benedict O.S.P. Makofi Kwake. Thank you, Father, for confirming and renewing the vows. Makofi kwake tabakali mkuwa halai. In the name of the in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Twenty-five years ago, I took the vows of monastic religious life in the presence of the community of Prince of Peace. Abi Tigoni, in gratitude to God, I confirm and renew my solemn vows today, 8th 
July 2023. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brother Emmanuel Delphin Omamo OSB. Makofi Kwake. Thank you, Father, for confirming and renewing the vows. Makofi kwake cheti kimekuwa halali Thank you Basi watatuonyesha wataanza kuonyesha abate alafu pia watuonyeshe tuone ni nini hiki ambacho wamenena na kukiandika wakati ya sahihi wenyewe Makofi kwao Shangwe na bigelegele Makofi kwao Makofi shangwe na bigelegele jameni Yes It's not easy to make that commitment. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mmechoka kuwashangilia jameni. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, thank you. Badai wenyewe wataweka altarini kwa utaratibu wanaiweka kwa altari Badai kuna sala ambayo wataifanya kwa wimbo Naomba tusimame A camera tunaomba nafasi pale
loving Father. Chest bodies are your temple. You delight in sinless hearts. Our nature was corrupted when the devil deceived our first parents. But you have restored it in Christ. Is your word through whom all things were made. He has made our nature whole again and made it possible for mortal people to reflect the life of angels. Lord, look with favor on these your servants who have consecrated themselves to you. They place in your hands they are resolved to live in chastity. You inspire them to take this vow. Now they give you their hearts. You have poured out your grace upon all peoples. You have adopted as heirs of the new covenant sons and daughters from every nation under heaven, countless as the stars. Your children are born not of human birth, nor of man's desire, but of your spirit. Among your many gifts, you give to some the grace of virginity, yet the honor of marriage is in no way lessened. As it was in the beginning, your first blessing still remains upon this holy union. Yet your loving wisdom chooses those who make sacrifice of marriage for the sake of the love of which it is the sign. They renounce the joys of human marriage, but cherish all that it foreshadows. Lord, protect these your servants who seek your help. They desire to be strengthened by your blessing and consecration. Defend them from the cunning and deceit of the enemy. Keep them vigilant on their guard. May nothing tarnish the glory of perfect fidelity or revocation of purity, which is shared by those who are married. Though the gift of your spirit, Lord, give them modesty with right judgment, kindness with the true wisdom, gentleness with the strength of character, freedom with the grace of fidelity. Give them the warmth of love to love you above all others. Amen. Make their lives deserve our praise without seeking to be praised. Amen. May they give you glory by holiness of action, of purity of heart. Amen. May they love you and, dear, and fear you. May they love you and serve you. Be yourself their glory, their joy, their whole desire. Be their comfort in sorrow, their wisdom in perplexity, their protection in the midst of injustice, their patience in adversity, their riches in poverty, their food in fasting, and their remedy in time of sickness. They have chosen you above all things. May they find all things in possessing you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. With that prayer, Brother Basil OSB is perpetually professed. Makofi Kwake. Kifuatacho atapewa vitabu vya sala. Kwa sababu ameamua kuishi haya maisha, maisha ya sala na kazi. Naomba tuketi. Brother Basil received this book of prayer. May it help you to pray together with your brothers, to praise and to worship the Lord. And may you prefer nothing to the work of God. May your prayers become more and more a true expression of your faith, hope, and love. May your heart always be in harmony with your voice. And may you glorify the Lord in all things.
next monks, Benedictine monks, all of you, may you kindly arise. The Benedictine monks in solemn vows. Dear Brother Basil, it is with great joy that we receive you into our community as a brother among brothers. May love always be the bond that invites all of us into this community. Then we have the Feast of Peace. And the Kiss of Peace is only for the solemnly professed monks, Benedictine monks, Choir.
kutoka kwa shangilia tena So now but there is a, also a short ceremony for handing over brother Basil is no longer a junior monk but is now a senior monk so the junior master is to hand him over to the prior Alafu prior atamwelekeza pa kuketi hapa Makofi kwa ojameni. Prior atamwelekeza pa kuketi sasa. Akiwa escorted na wazee. Makofi kwa. Makofi tena. Shango na vigelegele. Thank you very much. Anapo ashiriwa pa kuketi misa inaendelea ni wakati wa sadaka kwaya kwaya ni wakati wa sadaka
Patori, shukrani yote pamoja ni wakati huu Lakini usilete bahasha ama zawadi ya wala ambao wamesherekea kuna wakati wake Kama uko na bahasha ama zawadi yake kuna wakati wake Sasa ni matega tu Kwa ya Ora, ma di morica, 
Magari Mawili KCD 450H na KDJ 794Z kuna ushers hapo nje wanaomba muwasaidie tafadhali fika hapo nje uelekezwe la kufanya asante kwa Oh, <laughs> 
Salini ndugu ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana upoke kwa wema dhabihu na nadhiri za watumishi wako na uwaimarishe kwa mapendo yako hawa wanaofuata mashauri ya injili kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Tendo la kufa na la kuleta uokovu Tukushukuru wewe daima na popote E Bwana Baba uliye mtakatifu Mungu mwenyezi wa milele Kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu Yeye aliyechanua kama uasafi sana katika shina la bikira Alitamka heri wenye moyo safi na kwa maisha yake alidhihirisha hadhi ya usafi wa moyo Alitamani daima kuambatana na mapenzi yako akawa mti mpaka kufa kwa ajili yetu sisi akapenda kujitoa mwenyewe kwako Dabihu yenye harufu nzuri kabisa Amewaweka wakfu watu wanaoacha yote hapa duniani kwa ajili yako ili watumikie adhama yako Akawahakikishia kwamba watapata zina ya mbinguni kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na umati wa malaika na watakatifu tunakuimbia utenzi wa sifa tukisema bila mwisho
Bwana. Kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa njia ya mwanao Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa Roho Mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza. Wala huachi kukusanya watu kwako ili toka maawio ya jua hata machoyo yake na biu safi tolewe kwa jina lako. Basi e Bwana tunakusihi kwa unyenyekevu. Vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakase. Upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwanao Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuabudu tuadhimishe mafumbo haya. Ana yeye mwenyewe usiku ule alipotolewa alitoa mkati na akikushukuru aliubariki akaume na kwa hapo wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mle nyote huo ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu kushukuru alikibariki na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu ya damu ya agano jipya na la milele mtakaye mwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi Tajeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu hiyo bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletayo wokovu pamoja na ufufuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake mbinguni na tunapotazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uiangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake Utujalie sisi tunaotiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Ye yafanye sisi wepo da katimilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako. Kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu pamoja na mtakatifu Benedicto na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako tunakuomba e bwana Huyu aliye kafara na upatanisho wetu aleta amani na wokovu duniani kote. Upende kulimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalosafiri hapa duniani. Pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu pamoja na maskofu wote wa kilero wote na watu wote unaowafanya kuwa taifa lako. Upende pia kuimarisha katika nia yao takatifu hawatumishi wako 
ambao leo wamejitoa kwako kwa daima kwa vifungo vitakatifu vya nadhiri uwawezeshe kuadhihirishe katika kanisa lako maisha mapya na ya milele yaliyoandaliwa kwa ukombozi wa Kristo Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii uliyoiita hapa mbele yako. E baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Uwapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu haswa jamaa wa hawa ndugu zetu ambao wamefanya nadhiri na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza. Nasi tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu ambaye kwa njia yake unaujalia ulimwengu mema yote kwa njia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele Kwa kulitia agizo la mokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema Baba yetu uliye mbinguni E Bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote. Utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuopolewe daima na dhambi wala tuzifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliyewaambia mitume wako Amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa. Usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako. Unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Kwa furaha tutakiane hiyo amani.
tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu tazama ondoaye dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao waliwalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo e bwana sister hilo ingia kwangu lakini sema neno tu na roho yangu itakuwa ni kipindi cha kupokea ninaomba tunajua sisi kama wakristo wa katoliki wa kupokea mwili na damu ni wale ambao wameruhusiwa na mama kanisa na vile vile wenyewe wamejiangalia wamejichunguza dhamira yao wanaona wanastahili kama hujapewa ruhusa na mama kanisa tafadhali usithubutu ningependa kualika ndugu zetu wamefika sante mapadri mtapokea altarini alafu wa kristu tutaletewa mwili na damu ya kristu pale ambapo utakuwa karibu kabla ya kwaya ningependa wenye magari haya wanisaidie tafadhali waone asha hapo nje kcd 450h kdj 794z alafu kuna gari gkb 887s kama unafahamu una gari kwa haya ambayo nimetaja naomba ukamuone asha hapo nje utusaidie kutupatia nafasi ama kupatia wengine nafasi tafadhali
Om he. He buwana, bade ya kupokea kwa heshima mafumbo ya kimungu, tuna kuomba kwa unye nyekevu, uwa washie moto wa roho mtakatifu, Watumishi wako hawa waliunganika nawe kama sadaka takatifu na kuwajali ya ushirika wa milele na mwanao anaishi na kutawala daima na milele seated watawa wanataka kutumwa we have the benditin mission cross tunalika ndugu zetu ambao wametufanya tukawa na sherehe nzuri hapa ya kufana wajiongee hapa mbele ili waweze kutumwa kufanya utume Namwalika mheshimiwa baba Abate ajiongee hapa makofi kwake Makofi tena. They have received what we call the Benedictine Mission Cross. Makofi. Thank you very much. Naomba wataondoka ni wakati wa kutuonyesha kama wana furaha ama wana furaha kwa wimbo wa shukurani kwaya tafadhali naomba muangalie wa Kristu. Sasa ni wakati wa kudengua viuno. Kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Tunataka kuona kama mna furaha. Naomba tusimame kwa wimbo wa shukurani tuimbe wote pamoja Baba leo tunakushukuru Baba tunakushukuru 
na vile wamesweta wamekatika kweli kweli <laughs> makofi tena <laughs> thank you very much naona tuko nyuma ya saa saa iko mbele yetu kipindi hiki ni cha mazungumzo na tutaenda kwa urefu ningependa kwanza kutambua watu ambao wamefika wageni wetu kutoka sehemu mbalimbali kwanza ningependa kutambua wageni wanafamilia marafiki wa wale ambao wamefanya tukawa hapa wageni wa padri benedict mohavali osb tumsifu yesu kristu Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Watu kutoka Muranda, Kakamega, Mirembe. Oh, mko huku. <laughs> Kuna wengine walitoka Shibuye. Watu kutoka Shibuye, Kakamega, Mirembe. Aha. Tunatambua watu kutoka Jimbo kuu la Kisumu, Rangala Parish. Habari yenu karibuni sana. Vile vile kuna Wakristu, wanafamilia, marafiki zetu, wageni kutoka 
jimbo la Bungoma Amukura Parish. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. Kuna wakristu wetu wapendwa kutoka Nanyuki African Bible on the ground. Wow, wako wameakilishwa. Asante. Wakristu kutoka Eldoret. Kuna wakristu ambao wametoka Eldoret na parokia yetu kule. Kunae Father ametuwakilisha pale. <laughs> <laughs> PMC Wote PMC Thank you very much Kuna watu ambao singependa kuwasahau ambao wanatupa imani kila siku walimu wa dini catechist do we have catechist yes Tunawatambua Asante sana walimu wa dini tunashukuru sana Camera men and camera women tunawaona thank you very much kuna wakristu kutoka St Benedict Ruaraka parish thank you kuna watawa wote watawa wote Kwa kike, kwa wakiume, God is good, God is good. Kuna wageni pia kutoka St. Peter's Fisherman, Illeret, wako api. Wamefika, thank you very much kufika hapa. Na wote ambao zijatambua, God is good. Thank you. Ningependa kumwalika one of them at a vote of thanks. One of you please kindly move forward. Thank you Reverend Father Benedict OSB. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. God is good all the time. All the time. Um, on behalf of my colleagues, uh, Father Emmanuel and our solemn professed monk, uh, Brother Pasil, I am here to say a word of thank you. And uh, I will begin so that I do not forget again. Uh, the Tikoni family, the friends of the Benedictine, who pray always with us, who are present here. Uh, we say thank you so very much. It has been a long way journeying with you, praying together, and forming our spiritual life. Wa Christu wote, wa Tikoni, marafiki wa Benedictines, tunasema asandeni sana kwa uwepo wenu na sala zenu ambazo umetushirikisha. Namshukuru Mungu kwa njia ya pekee kwa kweli um, tukikumbuka 25 years ago we were little small boys eh? when we came here and I was reminding our Father Emmanuel he was so small slender and tall and uh, the wind um, could easily carry him away, but by the grace of God, now he is more um, heavier. And Tunashkuru uh, Mungu for these five years brought us. Tunamshkuru, Tunamrudishia Neema. And our desire is still to commit ourselves to him. Bado tunachitolea kwake kuendelea kumtumikia. Tunashukuru jumuiya yetu, jamii yetu, familia yetu, uh, the monks of Benedictine Ape Tikoni, uh, Right Reverend Apot, uh, John Baptist, uh, the prior, the sub prior, and all our formators, uh, Brother Andrew, 
I think we were your first juniors, and you are still going on for planning out this day for us, for preparing for us this celebration of Thanksgiving. We feel more at home and in the family with you. Tuendele na moyo huo ili mungu aendele kutupariki. Ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kwa shukuru especially our parents, wazazi wetu, tunakumbuka vizuri na brother uh, na father Emmanuel. Our parents, some of them were here during our first vows, uh, uh, some were here during our final vows, and now both our parents rest in peace. We pray for them and continue asking God to give them eternal rest in his kingdom. Father, Brother Pasil, anashukuru wazazi wake ambao wako hapa, nduku zake ambao wako hapa, pamoja nasi katika maadhimisho haya. Na wa Kristo kutoka mkura, uh, asa, chumuia, ya send, chumuia, um, kikango au saparish ya apokor. Ambako pia kuna mapatri wa wili wako hapo pamoja nasi, wamekuja kusherekea hii siku uh, ya shukrani ya mungu kwa mungu pamoja nasi. Prada Basila na shukuru chumuia uh, St. Maurus Thorn, uh, chumuia St. Felicita, uh, Ruaraka, St. Benedict Parish, uh, for being part of his life, and especially for accompanying him uh, through his life. Now that he is committed to God, we continue to pray for him. Tunashukuru wa Kristo wetu nduku zetu Father Emmanuel wa Kristo kutoka Rangala ambao wako hapa nduku zake ambako ambao wako hapa anasema asandeni sana kwa kufika na kwa kumshika mkono kila wakati. Nawashukuru wa Kristo kutoka Shibuye Parish our original parish wa Kristo wote kutoka Muranda ambao wako hapa our new parish Holy Cross, uh, Holy Cross. na washukuru ndugu zangu all my relatives who are here present today i've seen my brother here the, my niece she's behind there uh, sister Emily and others tunasema sandeni sana kwa kufika kukuwa pamoja nasi Kwa njia ya pekee na shukuru sana wa Kristo kutoka St Peter Ila Red Parish in Marsabit. I think wao ndio wamesafiri safari ndefu sana 1200 kilometers to be here for this occasion. Wa Kristo wa Ila Red tunasema asandeni uh, kwa kufika kuhudhuria maadhimisho haya. Na pia tuna familia ya Ilaret ambaye inakaa hapa Nairobi na kwingine we call it the Great Ilaret family ambao wako hapa I can see Praxi there and others who are among us uh, tunasema asandeni sana and for the mission you have uh, for the community of the Tasnach people in Ilaret Ningependa kuwashukuru hasa watawa wote na wakleri ambao tumefika ili tujiunge pamoja nasi and especially two of the religious who are here father sandolino it's your jubilee here uh, father marie uh, sister marie benedict it is your jubilee here tumetembea pamoja tumetoka mbali and I still tell Father Sandolino, bado tunaenda mbali. Tunawashukuruni sana our Benedictine sisters. Uh, you are doing a wonderful job. Naona mmefundisha hata muindi kucheza kiluya na kichaluo. Uh, Mungu aendelee kuwapariki kwa kazi njema hiyo. I may not thank everybody present here. But I want, in a special way, to give our gratitude to our spiritual directors during the preparation for this 
uh, celebration, the Carmelite community. Uh, present here, uh, Father Anik and Father Sandolino. Uh, pass our gratitude to Father Larry. Uh, they really gave us a humble time and a good time to prepare for this occasion. Lastly, uh, not least, but all the PMCs, Tunasema, Sandenisana, you met our day. We pray for you. Some will be sisters, others will be brothers, others will be priests in the future. Mungo Endele Kuabariki. In a very special way, we want to pass our thanks and gratitude to St. Benedict Choir. Mupo? Yes. Awangwana <laughs> wamekua part of our journey. When we met our first vows in this Abbey Church, uh, St. Benedict Choir, you led us through the Mass and it was very wonderful. We remember during our final vows, you animated the liturgy very wonderfully. And today you are celebrating with us the Silver Jubilee to Nataka Kusema Asandeni Sana. Mungu endele kwa bariki, tunawapenda, tunawakumbuka kila mali tupo kwa this um, encouragement and inspiration that you always give us. To all who are present, tunasema karibuni, asandeni sana kwa kuwa pamoja nasi katika maadhimisho haya. Asande sana baba abate kwa kutuongoza na kutupa baraka kupokea nadhiri zetu tena ili tuendele kuishi maisha haya ya kitawa. Sandeni sana, mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much, Reverend Father Benedict OSB. We better give him a better round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Kabla sijamwalika, the next speaker, singe penda kusahau the following groups also. We have the hosts, the, our Christians, who come and fellowship together with us here in Tigoni. Tigoni Christians, tunawatambua. God is good. Tunawatambua. We are grateful for you being around to celebrate with us. We also have the Benedictine Oblates. Benedictine Oblates, these are our friends. Thank you. They have also ensured there is order. Asante sana. And our liturgical dancers, the sisters, thank you for doing that. Now, I would like to take this opportunity, because of time, to invite Right Reverend Abbot John Baptist OSB, at least, to give us a little remark. Welcome, Father. Ndugu watawa wenzangu wa hapa Tigoni na watawa wote pamoja na Wakristo wote marafiki asanteni sana Tulisahau watu muhimu sana kusema asante I think there is food Kuna chakula Kama chakula iko tunashukuru wale walipika kwa imani. Tunashukuru kwa imani. Na ningependa hicho chakula kiombewe hapa hapa kwa sababu hakuna muda wa kufanya. Huko watu wakifika tumbo zao zishashuka. Akili zimeshashuka tumboni. Sasa ukifika huko hata akili ya kusali inapotea. So kwa hiyo ningeomba tuliombe chakula hicho kwa hapa. Pili na mwisho ningependa kwa njia pekee kuwapa hongera ndugu zangu ambao wamefanya nadhiri za daima na wale ambao wamerudia nadhiri zao. Hongereni sana na pongezi Mungu aendelee kuwaongoza. 
hizo misalaba tuliwapa bila kusema neno kwa sababu Yesu Kristo alipokea msalaba bila kusema neno lakini zina maana zao kwamba they are missionaries and those who are celebrating their 25 years wako na kazi zao tayari yule wa nadhiri za daima ana kazi zake tayari labda ni vile tunawezekana tujue brother basil bado ni mwanafunzi that is his missionary work for now ni kusoma anaendelea kumaliza masomo yake ya teolojia kule Roma na akimaliza ana kazi yake tayari huenda mtamuonaona hapa kwa muda kwa sababu ana kazi yake tayari amesha teuliwa kuwa katibu wa shirika letu kazi ambayo ma, ma, marehemu Father Winfred alikuwa anafanya kabla arudi hapa kwetu. Kwa hiyo yeye ameteuliwa kuwa katibu wa shirika. Kwa hiyo hataishi hapa kwa muda mrefu wa mtamuona. Kwa hiyo msiulize na yule mwingine alienda wapi. Ameenda penye ameambiwa aende. Si alisema ayuko tayari. So kama yeye yuko tayari wherever and whenever is needed. So hapo sasa ndio uti unaanzia hapo. Kwa hiyo tunamwombea kila laheri Mwenyezi Mungu amuongoze katika kazi yake ambayo inamsubiri. Na washukuruni nyote kwa kufika. Kwa hiyo sasa nashukuru sana MC. Kuna mtu alikushukuru? Nashukuru MC kwa kazi aliyofanya naendelee kufanya hivyo kusema chochote amesema mengi na tunashukuru kwa hayo mengi Mungu akubariki na atubariki sisi sote na nafikiri ni yeye atatuombea kwa imani kwamba chakula kipo twende tukipate baada ya hapo kama kipo eh hakikisha umekunywa maji hata kama uuli chakula sio ndio maana ulikuja hapa sasa ukirudi na hii baridi upate joto kwa tumbo walau ya kukusaidia kutembea sio eh usitembee na baridi usema hata huko nilienda tu nikarudi na baridi yangu kwa hiyo karibuni sana mjisikie nyumbani this place is very warm and we wish you well thank you very much and god bless you Thank you baba abate huyo ndiye baba yetu hapa tunashukuru kwa kuwa na yeye Ningependa kutoa utaratibu after here what is going to happen Tunapopata baraka za mwisho kutakuwa na msafara msalaba utatangulia kama kawaida tutatoka hivi kuna kipindi cha picha photo session pale nje tutafuata msalaba watawa na mapadri na wale ambao wamefanya tukasherekea pamoja pale jukwani tutakuwa na photo session baada ya photo session immediately tutakuwa na cake cutting and eating hatutakata mara hii na tuache hivyo tutakata baadaye tufanye nini tule tukimaliza cake cutting and eating lunch direct naomba uh, ndugu zetu ambao wamesherekea immediately after cake cutting and eating tunaenda lunch lunch itakuwa hivi chakula kimeandaliwa in one pot in one sufuria lakini ni sehemu tu za kupata chakula ndiyo tofauti watawa na mapadri watawa wote sisters brothers and priests 
kuna mlango ya reception itafunguliwa kuna watawa Tigoni OSB Monks watawaelekeza kwa dining ya Monks waliobaki sisi wote kuna chakula tayari ishaandaliwa hapa nje mtapanga laini utapata sahani alafu uipate chakula chako kuna uwanja mzuri uketi ule tukimaliza kula ndio hawa watatoka kule ndani watakuja kuna sehemu ya entertainment and gifts so usikuwe na haraka uondoke na zawadi ukisema ah wameingia huko ndani ya watatoka watakula tu lunch alafu watakuja kutakuwa na entertainment sasa utapika picha na yeye ukihitaji na utampa zawadi baada ya hiyo unaombwa kuondoka kama una jisikia unaondoka natumai utaratibu ni huo naomba tusimame ili tupate sala ya chakula alafu baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa jina la baba la mwana la roho mtakatifu bless us lord and this gift is that we're about to receive in good bless our lord amen in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Baba Bate, Naoma Baraka, Zamesh. Wana wenanye Tinamishe vichwa kwa baraka za Mungu Mungu mbuviaji wa matashi mema azistawishe ni azenu na imarishe mioyo yenu ili mlioyahidi mwiashike kwa imani thabiti Yeye mwenyewe awajalie ninyi we fought and Gia Nyembamba Mulio Ichagua Katika Fura Haya Christo Mkichuku Amizigo Yandugu Kwao Changa Mfu Mapendo Ya Mungu Ya Wafanye Mwe Family Amoja Ilio Kusanyika Katika Jina Labwana Yenye kuonyesha sura ya upendo wa Kristo. Amen. Na nyinyote mliohudhuria matakatifu haya, awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. And then in Amani Chakula ambayo tunauza kutoka shambani mwetu Iko pale inje Kuna farm produce Kama ungependa kununua Kuna chakula kingi kimetoka shambani mwetu Nependa kujimu kujipatia sehemu tafadhali
Are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717 Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. I would like to appreciate the Capuchin TV. We are very, very grateful. And we always encourage people of goodwill, our Christians, to continue supporting the Capuchin TV. The only Catholic TV, the only one in Kenya. Imagine, the only one. So let us support them. They cover most of our masses here at the Basilica. So as individuals, as groups, let us support uh, Captain TV because they continue uh, reaching out, reaching out to the people of God, wherever they are, to be more and more uh, nourished uh, spiritually. So Captain TV, thank you. May God bless your ministry. Tuendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV. Welcome to Trust, Compassionate, House of Holistic Healing, Immaculate Heart of Mary, Cycle Spiritual Counseling Center. We are located along Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, near Jaiquat, Campus Karen. We offer family and marriage counseling, group counseling, individual counseling, youth counseling, addiction counseling. We have psychosocial training. We also offer retreats. We have a hall that can be used for seminars and workshops. And we also have accommodation. We welcome all from far and near because the accommodation we offer, you will have a bed to rest and food to nourish yourself. Welcome all, because our prices are so affordable. You can reach us on, as I said, Tandala Road, via Bogani Road, 
near Jaquant current campus, you can call us. Our email is cancellingc442 at gmail.com. Tunawakaribisha nyote. Hii ni nyumba ambayo mutaweza kupona kiroho na kimwili. Mwakaribisha nyote kwa Immaculate Heart Psycho Spiritual Counseling Center, Karen. Karibu. Chairman of the Pastoral and Lay Apostolate in the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops. I invite you and welcome you warmly to our National Prayer Day to be held at Subukia National Shrine. The theme for this year is Journeying Together as a Reconciled Family. We shall be led by the Metropolitan of Nairobi to come and pray together for our country, for our church, for each one here in our country to live in peace with one another, to live as brothers and sisters, and to be reconciled, to heal the world so that we move together. We pray for peace, we pray for growth, and accepting each other as we work together as one family. We are all welcome to come and pray together, asking God to hear our prayers and heal our country and make us live as brothers and sisters. God bless you. Welcome to St. Mary's Mission Hospital, Mumias, a faith-based level 4 teaching and referral hospital, which for over 80 years has been offering affordable medical services to the people within Western region and beyond. Entrust all your healthcare needs to St. Mary's Hospital Mumias. We are equipped with modern state-of-the-art medical facilities and supplies which guarantee efficient 24-hour inpatient and outpatient services. It offers 24-hour outpatient and inpatient services with an average workload of 5,000 patients. We offer patient-centered health care administered on a daily basis by professional, compassionate and friendly staff. What I like mostly about the Catholic aspect is uh, they nurture and employ both uh, spiritually and uh, they, as in they are there for the employee holistically and they, it doesn't matter where you come from or whom you are, they always incorporate you and they are able to help you be able to exercise, knowing that as much as we are touching somebody's life. We have established the hospital as a center of excellence in healthcare provision for more than eight decades, delivering quality services to our vast clients, which include general consultation and treatment, maternal and child health care, nutritional care, radiology services, theater services, ISO certified laboratory services, physiotherapy, pharmacy services, sickle cell care, diabetic care, and other specialized treatment. My emphasis will be on uh, the specialized uh, diabetic uh, clinic that the hospital is offering, uh, given the fact that uh, 
Uh, these are non-communicable diseases that are very common within the Western region. Our inpatient department is fully equipped with the male and female wards, maternity wards, newborn unit, surgical male and female wards, private amenity, and a center for diabetic patients. If there is anybody who has diabetes, uh, who needs dialysis, kindly come. We have a nephrologist who will see you once in a week. We give them food. We accept NHIF covers and a series of private insurance providers and agencies. Our mothers preferring to come to the facility, even if they are being taken elsewhere, they will prefer to come to St. Mary's Mission Hospital because their care is up to date. There is qualified staff for the maternity wing. We have the gynecologist who is always there with our mothers to ensure that they are, they, are, they are taken care of well. Their babies are also taken care of well. And this makes our hospital to be well known around and far. Mkikuja St. Mary's, you'll get the help you want. Atakamu Kombali, they have an ambulance. You just call for emergency and then they come pick you wherever you are and you'll reach safely and you'll get the services you want. I'm so happy. Visit St. Mary's Level 4 Teaching and Referral Hospital located 1.5 kilometers from Mumias Town along Bungoma Kakamega Highway in Mumias West Sub-County. St. Mary's Mission Hospital is pocket friendly whereby we make sure our consultation fee it is to the minimum. For more information and inquiries, contact us on 0789-712-382. You can alternatively email us on info at St. Mary's Mission Hospital Mumias.org. St. Mary's Mission Hospital Mumias. We treat with care. God heals. In every season of life, God's goodness remains constant and His mercy extends forever. For the Thomas Uphill Yugi invites you all to Eucharistic celebrations in Thanksgiving as he marks his silver jubilee in the service of the Lord since 1998. For the Thomas continues to thank the Lord, his parents, the clergy, family, friends and benefactors who have worked with him in the priesthood journey. The Thanksgiving Masses are as follows, Sunday 2nd July this year. At Our Lady of Fatima Catholic Church, Kongowea Nyali, Mombasa, in the Archdiocese of Mombasa starting from 10 a.m. Sunday, 5th November this year, at St. Mary's Catholic Church, Uriri Migori, in the Catholic Diocese of Homabe, starting from 10 a.m. And Saturday, 11th November this year, at St. Paul's Cathedral in the Catholic Diocese of Homabe, starting from 10 a.m. This celebration will be live on Capuchin TV and its social media platforms. For congratulatory messages, contact Father Thomas on 0777-810-143. Capuchin TV congratulates Father Thomas for this milestone. As you celebrate this wonderful day, may our good Lord continue blessing you more and more as you continue serving in his vineyard. Happy anniversary for the Thomas. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. <laughs> Naomba furaha yako bwana, naomba faraja yako bwana. 
Jumapili hii Mpendwa muumini, tumsifu Yesu Kristu, milele amina. Watakatifu Petro na Paulo ni mitume na mashahidi wakuu wa imani ya Kikristu. Ndio maana kanisa Katoliki linaendelea na sherehe za kuwaenzi. Hapa kwenye Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi, tumeshuhudia shangwe kutoka ruai. Kiambu mjini Ni katikati mwa jiji Jumapili hii ya 14 kipindi cha mwaka Kapuchin TV tutatembea Kiambu Mashinani katika parokia moja ambayo iko kwenye mji ulio na jina sawia na la jamii ya wapenda mokimo na gideri Karibu tukupeleke Kikuyu Tumsifu Yesu Kristo kwa majina ni Padre Simon Peter Ndongo e, baba paroko katika parokia ya Mtakatifu Petro Mtume Kikuyu ambako tunahudumu tukiwa mapadri watatu Padre Rafael Bogwa na Padre Joseph Mwangi Nimezaliwa katika parokia Mtakatifu Yohane the Evangelist kule Gedega na nashukuru Mungu kwa nafasi ya kuwa padri katika kanisa. Parokia hii yetu iko na makanisa matano na kwanza ikiwa ni St Peter the Apostle Kikuyu hapa tulipo, kanisa la St Anne Muthure, St Mary Immaculate Gitaro, St Augustine Undiri na vile vile kuna kanisa lingine St Lucy Kanyariri. Katika parokia yetu tuna jumuiya na nane mbao zote zinaunganishwa kwa upendo, ushirikiano na wote wanafanya kwa kila mwaka wanakuwa na feast day na kuwa na misa ya kubarikiwa boma na misa zingine za shukurani katika kila jumuiya. Na tunafurahia kufanya kazi na wao kama uh, wakristo wetu. Kwa wakristo ambao pengine hawapati nafasi ya kubarikiwa boma kila mwaka, tunawahimiza kuna umuhimu